This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Doctor at Large is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Arthur Lowe was in the TV series when he was 56 in 1971. Sadly, on April 15, 1982, he left us due to a stroke at 66 in Birmingham, England. Were deeply saddened by his passing. Well, perhaps that's worse in a way. <laughs> At least they'd be safe with me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sue. It's only man's talk. Yes. Very clever from a start to be a good actor. <laughs> I think you should be very intelligent. But once you start getting clever, then forget it because. That's Tessa Wyatt played the character Nikki Barrington in the series when she was 23 in 1971. See, at the age of 75, she's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Woking, UK. You smear yourself? No, I swapped it for two leukemias and a malaria. <laughs> <laughs> but I took this one myself. It's, it's not very... Um... Right. Is there going to be time? It's only one slide. Happening. The whole life is bound up in this house. Well, maybe I don't want it to be bound up anymore. I'll sell it. George Layton played the character Paul Collier in the series when he was 29 in 1971. See, at the age of 81, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Bradford, England. Now's an exam and gets a nice job the next day, you know. You ought to be grateful. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sure your uncle's very nice and I should be grateful, but it's just... Good. Now, repeat after me. I am going to... I sent him a last supply. as a little sort of token of affection afterwards and never yeah, got a sorry. reply. It was I never mentioned in the diary, either. Well. He oh. was spitting blood. Oh, well, he's spouting blood as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Martin Shaw played the character Hugh Evans in the series when he was 26 in 1971. See, at the age of 79, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Warwickshire, England. Congratulations. How long have you been married? 11 months. Oh, I didn't mean that. Well, 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 Pippa, eh? What do you mean, well, well, well? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, let's... As I was uh, when I was at drama school, I went to see it, and I thought it was a brilliant impersonation, but not a great internalized performance. Richard O'Sullivan played the character Lawrence Bingham in the series when he was 27 in 1971. See, at the age of 79, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. I seem to forget that I won the surgery prize last year. They just keep going on about it. Funny, isn't it? Yeah, you think you'll get the job? Oh, yes, I think so. Anyway, moustache, I decided to meet Jenny Parfit before lunch. I have not been to the studios yet. And I, I rang up, I said, Do you have anything going on? Would there be a chance that maybe I could pop home? Did you sure? Molly Sutton played the character Mrs. Mollett in the series when she was 49 in 1971. Sadly, on July 1st, 2009, she left us due to heart failure at 86 in Guildford, Surrey, England. We're deeply saddened by passing. Knowledge, isn't it? Do sit down. Look, I must apologise for Dr. Upton's behaviour yesterday. Oh, that's all right, dear. I understood. I had a bit of shopping to do anyway, and I didn't want to appear and. I heard anything. We were in Egypt. What would they think about how you being served in Egypt? <laughs> you know. Jeffrey Davies played the character Dick Stewart Clark in the series when he was 33 years old in 1971. Sadly, on July 13, 2023, he left us of natural causes at 84 in England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, yes. may I tell you all something I think you might all want to know? Yes. You see, I I've just taken... Slip there. A <laughs> couple of stitches. Spray on the old plastic skin. All neat, tidy, and painless. And not one. Madeline Smith played the character Sue Maxwell in the series when she was 22 years old. In 1971, see, at the age of 74, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in East Sussex, England. Would you like some more coffee? Oh, no, not just now, thank you. Okay. I'd like some more coffee. <laughs> Well put. I never ever thought about that, and she has a very good point there. Yes, they be. I mean, they're called Slash and Dagger or something. Those other films, aren't they? Or Slash and something. Slash. 
David Jason played the character Mr. Spry in the series when he was 31 in 1971. See, at the age of 84, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Middlesex, England. Well, um, I haven't done much, but, but I was told to ask you questions. Ah, you were told to ask. Who told you? Where did three weeks, as it were, and I wasn't using the legs at all. So that's where I'm at now. I'm coming and getting it back. I'm doing some exercises and one. Ernest Clark played the character Professor Loftus in the series when he was 59 years old in 1971. Sadly, on November 11, 1991, he left us due to cancer at 82 at Hinton St. George, Somerset, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. Rather than pass on, I thought I'd better call you. Hmm, quite. Well, let's find a nice new one that'll last a good long time. Ah, here we are. Yes, that's a beauty. That should last for... Brian Alton played the character Dr. Griffin in the series when he was 63 in 1971. Sadly, on April 13, 1992, he left us due to illness at 84 in London, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. About his um, affliction. Oh yes, of course, I should have told you. Yes. He's mad. <laughs> well, what do you mean mad? He's not mad. Well, a bit um, simple. Well, is he having any tr Ivor Dean played the character Jarvis in the series when he was 54 in 1971. Sadly, on April 10, 1974, he left us due to heart failure at 56 in Truro, Cornwall, UK. We're deeply saddened by his passing. I'll manage on my own. Yes, all right, Doc. My, my, my bag, my bag. No, my bag. The bag. Oh, hurry, man, hurry. Barry Evans played the character Michael Upton in the series when he was 28 in 1971. Sadly, on February 9, 1997, he left us due to an accident at 53 in Claybrook Magna, Leicestershire, England. We're deeply saddened by his passing. What's the matter? Uh, I just didn't realize. Well, where are you going? Well, well I'm sorry, but I have well, to. What's go. the matter? Wasn't this kipper quick enough for you? <laughs> Look, are you trying to tell me I didn't. Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Doctor at Large? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.